Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome your faces back to part four of our Master League series today. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. It is a Sunday and it's a nice day to play some pairs, isn't it, today? Um, so we've got a massive, massive game today. Barcelona in the Champions League. And we've got to start off in this tournament the best that we can. And I'm going to choose the best team I think can beat Barcelona today. So here is my lineup. We've got De Hay, we've got Chris Morning, we've got a brand new sign in here, we've got Bailey, we've got Carrick. Carrick did so well last game, I wanted to play him today. Um, we've gone Valencia as well on the right wing, Pogba, Luke Shaw, Pace on that left wing, we've got Sanchez, Lukaku, and Mkhitaryan as well. I think we have got a good pacey. Obviously, I know Carrick's a little bit slower than the rest of the players going forward. Um, but he did so well last game. I was so impressed with him. He's definitely keeping that in that, that spot today. Because I feel like he is going to be a very important player for us today. When you look at players like Suarez and Mezzi in that attacking oh god right let's get this match underway so here we go manchester united versus barcelona in the first champions league game of the season so it's gonna be a tough game mate it's gonna be a tough game no mate that was close Nice bit of play building up there from barcelona mate so far barcelona where they're playing that I think it's three central midfielders. I think it's three. It's got to be three. I think it's three. I just need to double check this because I swear it's three central midfielders. I swear. Yeah, three central midfielders, mate. That, mate. You don't really like... When they're central midfielders, when we've got the ball, they are sitting right back, mate, at the minute. Ew, Mkhitaryan! Oh, I didn't do anything with it, mate. I hit... Oh, Lukaku's coming up though. No. Mate, nearly, nearly. Yes! Oh. That was going so in. That was going so in. But if you look at it from that angle, not so much. But that was, that was crying for the back of the net there. Ah, oh, yes, Sanchez. First goal. He still hasn't scored for us yet, and that was going to be the one. And I just remembered as well, this is Sanchez playing against one of his former clubs as well. Barcelona. And that should have been in, man. That should have been in. Pogba! Honestly, so far, going in at half-time, nil-nil. But... Honestly, honestly, the way that we are playing right now, right? We should be up by goals at the moment. Six shots we've had, but three on target. And some of them should have gone in. They should have gone in. Barcelona at the moment. They are sit sitting back at the moment. They're playing for a draw at the moment. They're playing for a draw. It's like they looked at my lineup today. Wait, yeah, we'll play for a draw. Honestly, we're on fire at the moment. But we need... To take the ball, grab the ball by the grab the ball by the horn, and just brick in and get a goal, mate. Get a goal. All right, now Barcelona are starting to come to come to life now. Um, they're, they're really cramping up that midfield. Definitely do some marking. Or oh, Mkhitaryan pass it in. Sanchez grabbing the first goal for the club. And his first goal for for himself as well. Awesome! Thank God for that. That was we need it, mate. We needed that goal because obviously I want to start off good in the Champions League. As it's our first year back in the Champions League after many years being out of it. But Qatari, mate, stepping up when needing to. Vince Sanchez. Fantastic. Can we just appreciate right now, like, Barcelona's midfield? It's impossible. It's like, look, I didn't mean to make that pass. But, getting through that, mate, that's what I mean. Barcelona, like, re-clicked in the second half. Ooh, mate, that would have been a nice last goal of the game. 
But I'm going home now. Well, we'll finish the game now. I'm going home. Uh, with three points in the bag. In the grip stage of Sanchez. Grabbing that goal. But we should have easily, easily gotten 2 or 3 nil that game. Barcelona did nothing that game. Literally, I don't even think they had a proper like, shot on target. They had two shots all game. Literally, they turned up today to park the bus to get a draw. And I'm playing on regular. I'm not the best at football games, and hence there's only 1-0. Um, but Barcelona did not do anything, mate. And it's like, mate, they just literally cramped, in, cramped out their midfield, playing for a draw. Playing for a draw. Suarez and Messi didn't really do nothing. I don't know how they got that high rating of six. They should have got like a four. They did nothing today. So there we are. Porto. Porto. Um, are top of the um, group stages at the moment with goal difference by one. And we are set second. So it's going to be an interesting one, man. I honestly thought Barcelona was going to put up more of a fight than that today. But parking that bus, mate. Parking that bus. So, our next game is against Burnley. Look at it in midfield, mate. Honestly. Proper cramping it out this episode, aren't they, in the midfield? Um, a big squad rotation round, because obviously it's playing Champions League. So, I wanted to kind of bring some fresh legs into the squad and give some players some rest, as it's going against Burnley as well. So, we should technically win this. We should win this. Um, so, I, I won't go through the squad. You can see who I've chosen. Um, they're my starting 11. And... Um, looking all fresh and dandy um, and also my bench as well you can't see the top half but De Gea's on, on the bench and Smalling um, but they're the two people you can't see because the camera's in the way alright the camera's on, in the way but let's get into the match oh this is not going to be a good attack no oh mate that was close when Romero got close to that so uh, yes yeah, so I'm starting off the first game Burnley mate of freaking uh, literally making my life hell right now Honestly, I got an opportunity to pass it up to Zatan, but yeah, I was not going to happen because there were about three players on him. I was like, oh god, this is going to be a tough match. Marshall! First attempt we've had, literally had on goal so far today. Literally. First attempt and it's nearly 30th minute in the game. Matic! What? Mate, that was unexpected, honestly. That was so unexpected. Let's have a look at the replay on that. That was so unexpected, mate. I was like, let's go for Matic because I know he's a t pretty tall guy. Zatan, obviously, connecting it in. And boom. Didn't expect that. 1-0 one, one up. Zatan! Mate. A nice bit of build up here. Passing it. Wax it in from Martial. Ooh, mate, if that went in, that would have been my thing, one of my best goals I've scored so far. What happened there? I don't have a clue. Seriously. What happened there? I need to look back at this. Pass it there. Lindelof, do better at marking, mate. Stay tighter on him. He runs away when he should be staying with him. So, going in at half time, 1 1. I think I'm going to make some substitutions. Because I feel like we're missing one or two things going forward. Um, especially on that right wing, I think we could do with someone like a Mkhitaryan, um, definitely, um, and got to do something, got to do something, we're missing that right wing position right now, so Mkhitaryan's coming on, I need something in there, um, Zatan's trying to get opportunities, Martial's been brilliant so far, but I feel like Ashley Young as well, Ashley Young, sorry mate, you're coming off, I'm going to go with so Lingard or Sanchez. Cool now, mate. Hard call. Oh, I'm going to say Lingard. Give him a bit of run out as well. Freshen up that right side of the pitch. Oh, 
Zatan. Honestly, we got how in. I don't know what to say right now. To be honest, I'm just kind of a bit stumped. Marshall calling for anything right now. Just any kind of goal. I'll go for like just like a deflection. Burnley are literally like imagine that's their midfield, that's their defence. Literally like that in a minute. I cannot break through their midfield. They're literally are making Zatan quiet as hell. Um I need to do something else I need to bring on. I'm going to call on Lekakus. Or Lekakus. Do I call on for Lekakus to come on? Do I go for someone? Sanchez. Sanchez did a good game. I'm just going to go with Lekaku. See what goes of it. See what could happen, honestly. Zatan! Thank God for that. Honestly, I was starting to panic, as you can tell, we brought Lukaku on. I was like, I got a whack of two awesome people who are good in the box. Well, what, what add to the person in the box? It's going to be the two great people in the box. It's like, honestly, I was just like, so many people in that box, mate. It's the only way we're going to get a goal by literally whacking that ball into the box. Crossing it in. Mikatari, <laughs> on earth, mate. That should have gone in. <laughs> that should have gone in. Um, mate, honestly, Burnley put up a bloody fight there, man. They put up a fight, especially after score that goal. They were just going and going and going for it, trying to get that ball into the box, but they didn't get it, mate. They did not get it. <sighs> So we're walking away with three points in the pocket, thank God. Burnley, mate, honestly, they put up a decent fight today. I've got to give it to them. And that's why I like the Premier League, mate, season. This is so it's like unpredictable, mate, unpredictable. But honestly, I was just thinking this while I was playing. It's like, honestly, do you know the kind of midfield I could have done with it today? A Fellaini. I didn't think I was going to say that, but the uh, midfielder I could have done with today is someone like Fellaini. I could have done someone, kind of, could have done someone with like him. Honestly, could have, but there we are. Still undefeated, three victories, a draw. Everton still top as well at the moment. Chelsea second. Only two points off them, boys. Only two points. Arsenal only two points off us with Crystal Palace as well. What's going on there, man? going on there Tottenham as well three games is lost mate three games Liverpool as well two games one drawn and loss interesting where's Man City Man City oh a lot of draws for Man City they're probably still settling with their new squad though there'll be a second half of the season job I reckon they will be but guys that's all we've got time for today if you have enjoyed make sure you smash the like button down below it'd be greatly appreciated thank you as well for the massive support so far on the last three episodes and um, hopefully you did enjoy this one as well um, and um, if you would like me to um, do more games like two games I'm doing that at the moment but if you'd like to me to do like say three uh, three games per episode do let us know in the comments down below and I will see what I can do. Um, but thank you very much for watching today. I will be back in a day or two with the next episode of Master League where we close in on Chelsea and Everton for that number one spot. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.